We've been led to believe last week's acts of terrorism must have taken years of flight training. But former pilot John Greaves says not even close. It's just a matter of uh, employing basic airmanship skills, which can be learned in 10 hours of basic flight training. In a chilling interview, Greaves showed me just how easy it was for the hijackers to accomplish their deadly mission. Back, back, back. Once the hijackers gain control of the plane, they immediately shut off the transponder. That identifies the plane and shows its altitude to controllers. How hard was that? About that hard. Next, they disengage the autopilot. Yes, that's all it took. Then they set off for their new course. Are you saying that hitting those buildings was almost easy? Even someone that's never been to New York City before uh, could take a couple of hours of simulator training and uh, see exactly what New York City is going to look like from the air. Reeves says the hardest parts of flying are the takeoff and landing. So even if passengers had somehow taken control without a healthy pilot, practically no way they could have landed safely. You see a lot of movies about where they talk, talk, them, down. talk them down, but the, the likelihood of that actually happening successfully is very small. Solutions? Reeves wants to see flimsy cockpit doors upgraded and a new policy prohibiting pilots from coming out of the cockpit for any reason, even if passengers or crew are being harmed.